Well, on our last maintenance Monday, I basically, uh, we were having a, a overheat problem with the motor. Uh, the temperature, water temperature light would come on after about an hour of motoring. Um, and uh, so I cleaned out the strainer and I cleaned out all the hoses and everything. Uh, there was some debris in the strainer. That didn't seem to solve the problem. Uh, well, it did for a moment and then we went uh, out today and uh, ran the motor for about an hour and sure enough, the light came on after about an hour. And so now we're sailing. We're halfway between Calabria and Puerto Rico. And so while we got some downtime, I am working on the boat. One thing I'm, I'm really not gonna be able to test right now is that really the engine does not feel hot to me. Um, I mean, I can put my hand on it. Um, uh, you know, it, you know, that's the engine that the light came on just a minute ago. I can put my hand on that motor right there. It's hot and it hurts a little bit right there, but it's not like, oh my gosh, ow. So, I mean, it could be just the temperature sensor that's gone bad too. So I'm gonna check the thermostat. I don't have a spare temperature sensor, but uh, you know, when we get to Puerto Rico, I'll buy one and put it in there and see if that makes a difference. So, or, and I'll trace all the wiring back to the sensor too, because, you know, sometimes if that wiring gets up against something hot, it can cre create resistance in that wire, which will make it think the same thing. So, we'll see. Uh, basically, I'm just going to pull out the thermostat and check that, because that's a common problem. Um, and I can test that on the stove, basically heat up some water to 170 degrees and see if the thermostat, you know, opens. The thermostat lives in there and taking it out, taking the bolts out and going to pull it out and see what happens. Okay, well, I think it was the thermostat. It's got two, which is odd to me. Uh, the thermostats are pretty old and corroded looking. This one seems to be working a little bit. Uh, you know, it's fully closed now because it's cooled off. It, this one right here is just, it, this doesn't even work anymore. So, um, it's a thermostat problem. I mean, there could be more problems, I don't know. But uh, definitely the thermostats are not working. So, I am just going to um, take the thermostats out for now, put them back on, run the engine, and see if that cools off the engine. Um, I know it's, but that's just a temporary thing. You need to put a thermostat back in there because these diesels don't, it's not good for them to run cold. You need to get them warmed up first, and if, and if uh, that's why the thermostat is there. So I pulled the thermostats off, put the manifold back on, and uh, started the engine. The hot light was on for about 20 seconds, and then it went off. So that tells me that these thermostats were bad, and that was the problem all to begin with. So maintenance Monday. I apologize. I was wrong, but hey, we fixed it anyway. So here we are. We have a little more maintenance to do on the engine, but first, here is Megan cheating on Goose with a pig. Uh, I told him not to was, uh, yeah. <laughs> That is so weird. Is this how he's yeah. Yeah. That is very bestiality. I mean, you're like making out. Are you tonguing the pig? He's like a cute baby. He licked his nose, I saw him. Oh, yeah, he looks happy about that. I got a gallon of vinegar, and uh, basically, that's the hose that goes to the fuel cock eventually through the strainer. I shook up another hose temporarily to it, and I'm going to put that inside this vinegar. I'm going to run the engine until the vinegar's out of that bottle. So, and then turn it off. So then the vinegar will sit in the uh, engine cooling areas there uh, for at least 24 hours, uh, maybe longer. And then uh, we'll flush it out. And hopefully that gets rid of all the buildup in there and the water goes more smoothly through everywhere. Oof, man. Sure is vinegar in there. All right, so I think it was a combination of all those things. The thermostat, the strainer, the vinegar flush throughout the coolant system and the, and the heat exchanger and all that. Because what we did is I let the vinegar sit inside the coolant system for 48 hours and then uh, hooked up the fresh water supply or the raw water supply back to it, turned the engine on. So then I went out and looked at the water outlet in the exhaust and it was definitely a little cloudy when it was coming out. There was some particulate in there and the water that was coming out was cloudy. So that vinegar broke down all the calcium and all the crap that was in that uh, heat exchanger. And then we motored for nine hours the next day and so Problem solved. We're happy about that. So it's all a matter of just troubleshooting and finding out what's wrong. I think it's been said a million times, I'm sure you heard this. Cruising is basically fixing your boat in exotic locations. Isn't that right? Yep. Getting ready to 
clean the boat in an exotic location right now. It needs it. And one thing we're pretty excited about is we have our website up now. So if you go to sailingdoodles.com, it is now our actual website. It has videos, pictures, all that kind of cool stuff. And it has a link uh, to our Buy Us a Beer account and also to buy the rough seas. This boat is actually for sale now. We're going to be upgrading boats in the next month. So if you would like to buy this boat, uh, there's a link on there. It has a video. We're about to put up some more pictures. and It's got all the information about the boat. So if you're interested in the boat, go check out the website, sailingdoodles.com.